asked, why would I choose a B450 motherboard over A320? To answer this, let us differentiate the two. B450 motherboards have better thermal control on its VRMs with each sink installed. VRM stands for Voltage Regulator Module. It controls and lowers the voltage sent to CPU to avoid exceeding their maximum voltage capabilities, resulting to steady and consistent power supply. GPUs have its own set of VRM too. You can overclock CPU with B450 while on A320 you cannot. Take note that some A320 have B350 chipsets wherein you can overclock processors. Not advisable though. RAMs can be overclocked on both B450 and A320. This feature can be useful if you are one of those who want to stress your processor for extra boost in performance. B450 has 4 RAM slots while A320 only has 2. Most A320 motherboards support up to 64 GB while on B450 is up to 128 GB. RAM capacity available will also be a consideration. In our locality, Ligan City, most RAMs are 8 GB. With A320, you will be limited for up to 16 GB. With B450, you can go on a progressive type where you can install 16 GB, 8x2, and later on add more RAMs to have 32 GB. All B450 have at least one M.2 PCIe slot, while some A320 do not. Consider this example of two A320 motherboards, MSI A320M12 VH and MSI A320M12. Pro-E does not have M.2 slot. If you want faster storage, read and write speeds, use M.2 NVMe. Faster boot up and apps loading time when placed on this type of storage. For all RGB fans out there, go for V450. A320 does not have RGB or ARGB headers, meaning you cannot mobile sync fan lights with A320. B450 also has more fan slots. Miscellaneous features that B450 has are Store MI and Crossfire or SLI, which you might not need. To sum up, B450 or A320. Depends on the extra features if you need it like OC, more RAM slots, and everything stated before.